Hey everyone, Jackie Tomlin here, and this is Friday, right? So we're here to take a look at your weekend reading. What does the weekend hold for you guys? Hope you've had a wonderful week. I know some of you got a long weekend. Um, I am working on Monday, and uh, some of you are off, and some of you are not. So if you have a long weekend, enjoy. If you're traveling, be safe. If you're seeking a personal reading, guys, it is JackieTomlin.com. You will find a menu of options over there. So the focus is what we need to know for the weekend. Let's run um, this as a 72-hour read since it is kind of a long weekend. Even though I will be doing a read on Monday, uh, we're going to kind of focus on the 72 hours. So long weekend for a lot of you. Let's see what we have going on. All right, like I said, focus is always. Hello and welcome. What we need to know. We can read. What do we need to know? Next 72. All right, guys. I saw a color just kind of flash by, and it was like a red, but it was a very, very bright red. So that may resonate. Maybe a vehicle or something like that. Article of clothing, but it's a very bright red. Oh, wow. We're going to start the weekend off with chaos. Busy time, a lot going on, a lot of energy swirling around. We are under that Capricorn uh, new moon. You have the card of knowledge and wisdom. With this comes growth, okay? And we have a success. Something here is going to cause you to dig deep within for trust. So there's some trust issues with someone here. That may be what's erupting with the chaos, but we'll, we'll get to that. It'll come out. Uh, there's something coming in as an enlightenment. To me, it's some kind of clarity. It's something you have suspected or thought you known. You're going to get confirmation of that. Okay. Um, we also have a lot of you are surrounded by healing energy. Some of you physically, but some of you, thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. Talira, I think it is. My lighting in here is not that great. I'll be honest with you. Neither am I eyesight. But anyway. Uh, surrounded by healing energy and some of you it's an emotional healing where someone has done you wrong and some of you are indeed getting away for the weekend maybe a night or something like that okay uh, and it's asking you to take the time to count your blessings also continue to let go let go of 23 let go of the past let go of negativity just let go okay and you have the power of the dragon and some of you doing things, some things with family, spending some good quality time with the family here after the holidays. It's beautiful energy. Okay. Let's see what other kind of random messages I can pull before we get into the tarot. Let's see. Now, if you're coming in to the collective read and you're coming in with specific questions, sit back and enjoy because most of the time this reading will answer your specific questions. If it does not, hello from Colorado. Hey, Tammy, how are you? Hello from Virginia. Jen is dreaming of dragons. I like it. Um, but if you're seeking a personal read, it's JackieTomlin.com. I am working this weekend, guys. Y'all may see me over here sometime this weekend. I can't say it won't happen. All right. Let's see what we have. We're going to go with. I think we saw this yesterday's reading. That someone's coming in to make a promise to you. Hello from NC. Oh, you're right down the road, dear. I am right here in Virginia. And we do have some kind of wish fulfillment. And some of you may not realize. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, some of you do not realize that you're actually going out to dinner this weekend. Spoiler alert, right? And you are recognizing your self-worth. Not selling yourself short. What a beautiful energy. What a beautiful way to start your year. I do too. It's always a great crowd in here. Great energy and a great crowd. Okay. We have, you have choices to make. Some of these choices you've been putting off for too long. Procrastination, y'all. I'm seeing some procrastination. Okay. I need you to remain open-minded. And don't draw conclusions quickly. Okay? And 
some of you are enrolling or going back to school. Nice energy here. Um, doing some kind of online course, maybe some kind of trade course, something like that. But I do have that here. Maybe you're doing it this weekend. Some of you are feeling stagnant. Excited for the new year, but feeling like you've hit a brick wall. You feel like you're not moving forward. You're not moving backwards with no movement. That's not the case. That is not the case at all. Okay. This is called you overcomplicating things. Don't do it. Don't do it. Strength is on your side no matter what you do. That moon energy, the new moon. You know, I love the new moon because this is new energy and new things and all things new. Doing things differently. Y'all see my cat back here. She just come out the window. And then we have someone coming in to confide in you. Someone looks up to you, respects you, wants your opinion, wants your advice. Spirit asking you to pay close attention this weekend to the signs and synchronicities. Um, the message that I'm hearing is you know what's to come. You know what's to come. Very factual, very matter of fact in your face type energy. Let's use this deck today. We'll use that one for clarification. All right, let's get into some tarot. For the weekend, hello there, Janine. Y'all all ready for the weekend? It's been a quick moving week, I know that. And I will be back here on Monday. And Y'all, I'll be around this weekend. I'm working this weekend. I'm in this office, so if I need a break, I might just hop on here. You never know. You never know. Hi there, Tammy. All right, let's see. What do we need to know for the weekend? Not right now, my dear. All right, we have the Prince of Swords. Ooh, the King of Swords is still here. And we have the Four of Swords. So where are you at for the weekend? There it is. You are in the calm before the storm. This may be why you feel like you've hit a brick wall or nothing's going on right now. This is asking you to get the rest that you can while you can and get things done while you can. Okay? This is setting you up for a very busy and fast pace energy. What's rushing in? We have a king of swords here. Libra energy is rushing in. You could be dealing with someone in authority. Someone that wears a uniform. Someone who wants to come in. I'm not going to say that they want to tell you how what to do, but kind of they do. It's kind of a know-it-all energy, but not in a sassy type way. It's actually welcomed by you. I normally don't associate gender, but I do see a male. And he has like silver or gray hair. Possibly could be a blonde, but I'm thinking more silver or gray. Okay. And I really want to say this is going to be unexpected company. Now, another reason why you're in the calm before the storm is the Seven of Cups telling you to slow down. Slow down and think things through. It's funny because I just told you no jumping to conclusions, right? Slow down and think things through because you've got options. You've got options in many, many areas. So, no hasteful decisions this weekend. Mm. Guys, I don't get better than this. Center your reading. You know, I love the center of the reading because it spreads throughout. You got the magician. The highest card in the deck, this is your yes answer. This tells me you do get what you want and you do get what you desire. And it is coming in this weekend. That should have covered a whole lot of questions here in this room. A whole lot. We also have the three of wands. Some of y'all got a little bit of a patience problem. Hugs to you too, my dear. Little bit of a patience problem. You're waiting for things to develop. You're waiting for your ship to come in. There's something there, you know. I tell everybody that, you know, when, and when it comes to divine timing, things have to line up, fall into place before everything just falls into place. And y'all know this. And, and you're losing patience waiting on it. Okay? It's to be expected. I'm a fire sign. You know I've got no patience. None. <laughs> None whatsoever. Queen of Pentacles. Overall, you're in a good space. 
counting your blessings, your health, your wealth, your finances. Overall, you're doing well. You could have an Aquarius that may or may not resonate with you. Mm. Manifestation with that hair font. If you missed my podcast, go back and catch it because I talked about vision boards. And it was funny because last Saturday I spent the day updating my vision board. Manifestation, drawing into you what you want to see. What do you want to see happen long term, short term? What do you want for January? What do you want out of February? What do you want before spring? What do you want out the year? It's all about manifestation. Now remember guys, come from the abundance mindset because you can manifest and draw into you the negative just as easily as you can the positive. Okay? Mm, seven of Wands. I like it. That journey inward is paying off. Some of you are doing your energy work. You're doing your Reiki. You're doing your yoga. You're doing your meditation. I like that I see that you're putting yourself first. Yep, do be very specific. Uh, Jen, I'll be doing uh, next week for my singles in here. Uh, when you're manifesting a partner, what to put and what not to put. Okay, and your bonus card. Get the devil card energy as the bonus. Let's see what goes with that. Ooh, the wheel. Under the energy of the wheel for the weekend, this means good luck and abundance. Good luck turning to your favor. Linda, thank you. Appreciate you. All of you. I appreciate all of you, but thank you. So, the good luck and abundance, the wheel turning in your favor. This is also the card of partnership. Now, this could be partnership as in love and relationships. This could be a business partnership, but this is a partnership. Okay. And we have the Nine of Pentacles. Now, let me throw this out here. Okay. Nine of Pentacles. Like I said, you, you guys are doing well. You're counting your blessings. You're in a good spot financially. You're just doing well right now. Thank you, Miss Linda. And what you need to understand, some of you that are single are opting to remain single, and there's nothing wrong with that. But, you know, I can be a little painfully blunt in my readings, and, and I have to tell you what I'm showing. My singles out here, you may very well have an opportunity for a one-night stand. Please don't read more into it than that. I'm not judging. Do what you want. But don't call me next week wanting to know if that's the one because I'm here to tell you this is a one night stand. Know what you're dealing with. I said what I said. All right, let's move on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so there's that. All righty. Getting into this energy a little bit further. Said what I said. <laughs> Free will, discernment, your judgment. Ain't nobody passing judgment on you. If you want to have fun, go have your fun. But don't fall in love having fun. Just say it. All right. So going back up in here to what we have rushing in. What else is rushing in? We have the Hermit. Judgment and the Four of Cups. We're getting a lot of major arcanas together. And I like the energy of that. So, the Hermit says you may feel a little bit majiggity. So, you might feel a little anxious, a little anxiety going on. But we are in the new moon. Okay? New moon, new year, manifestation. That's a lot of energy going on. So, you may feel a little off-centered, but that Hermit tells me you're on the right path. Now, judgment's coming in twofold. First of all, do not pass judgment on someone too quickly because I promise you, you're going to be wrong if you do. Next thing, quit worrying what everybody else thinks about you. Does it really matter? Does it really matter? It doesn't. And you do have that unexpected offer of love coming in. Really wanting to throw down. Unexpected. Really think somebody's going to knock at the door this weekend. There's some unexpected company, so you know. Could be a neighbor, could be a friend, but I am seeing some unexpected company. Now, on this Libra energy, I've got the world, the Five of Pentacles, Justice. See, two more major arcanas together. The world is your oyster, happiness, laughter, just in a good spot. Justice says something's coming in to restore your balance. 
Now, this could be the signing of a legal document. This could be you receiving a legal document or some type of inheritance of some sorts. Some of you, this could be a large lease and or purchase, but it does restore you. Five of Pentacles talks about a spiritual and financial blessing. And there's snow here. So I know I've got some of you out there in that storm's way. I'll be hitting us next week. So be careful. Okay. Now, this whole calm before the storm. For whatever reason, I'm seeing sapphires. I love sapphires. Sapphires may resonate with someone here or on the replay. Knight of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, and the Six of Pentacles. Damn, y'all money-minded. Do not spend your weekend sitting around dwelling on your finances, and yet don't go out and do a lot of frivolous spending either. Find that balance. Justice is here to help you with that, okay? The Knight of Pentacles says there is indeed new money coming into play. It's not right now. Unfortunately, this is the slowest moving night, night in the deck, okay? Three of Pentacles talk about financial planning. This is actually a good year. It's a good, solid financial year for 2024. I know it's hard to believe when breakfast cereal is like $8 a box right now. But <laughs> trust me, trust the process. Okay? The Six of Pentacles, when I'm talking about that spiritual blessing, here it is. There's something that comes in. This isn't your windfall yet. There's a windfall coming, but it's not yet. This tells me there's something that comes in to give you that sigh of relief. There's something that just says... It is absolutely crazy, Jen. There's something that says that everything is going to be fine. There's something there just bringing in that little, like I said, just a little bit of a sigh, sigh of relief. All right, the feeling that you're going to make ends meet. Now, the Seven of Cups, don't forget, I'm telling you, no quick decisions this weekend. Okay, no quick decisions. We have the moon, that moon energy, the Five of Swords, and the Queen of Cups. Okay. Going back at the very beginning of the reading. And if you missed it, don't worry. I will post it in its entirety soon. In the beginning of the reading, I said there might be some trust issues. And that's what I'm seeing here. One reason why I want you to slow down on your decisions. There's the Queen of Cups that says, open your heart to give love and open your heart to receive love. And then right beside it, I see you're very guarded and defensive and the cat claws are out. So this tells me there's some trust issues with someone. And don't forget, the first card in this deck was chaos. So there is trust issues here with someone. Okay. Let your guard down a little bit. And you may have a Scorpio that may or may not resonate with you. Now, moving forward on the Magician. You know that Magician trumps your whole weekend, right? Just remember that no matter what happens this weekend, you are under the umbrella of the magician. Ten of Cups. Happy home. Happy life. Damn, the Emperor. And the Six of Wands. Okay, so if you are in a relationship, you about to level up. Maybe y'all talking about living together. Maybe you're talking about getting engaged. Maybe you're talking about the forever. You're about to level up. If you are single, someone is looking at you as for the, the forever, the forever. Someone's coming in to offer you a commitment. There's an emperor energy here. This emperor is a dominant, prominent, charge type person. Someone that comes in to save the day. And with it, we have the six of wands. You absolutely can level up by yourself. Absolutely. You ascend to another level. Mm -hmm. Remember, we talked about at the beginning of the reading, we had that card of self-worth. Recognizing and embracing your self-worth. That will level you up. Okay? The Six of Wands says you are headed to total and complete victory. You're headed to success. Some of you may have an audience. Some of you may be surrounded by people that you're not normally surrounded by. I'm going back to, I think some of y'all are out of town this weekend. I mean, I like travel like out of state, but maybe to another town or something. But some of you are out of town. All right. The three of wands and the patience problem brings in wish fulfillment, but a delay attached again. It's a second wheel. You've gotten good luck and abundance and partnership. And Nine of Pentacles, again, saying, some of you, Jen, 
are opting to remain single and leveling up themselves. Okay? Good energy, though. Let me say this. If you're working this weekend, like I am, it'll be worth your while. I know a lot of people get mad when they're having to work for a holiday weekend and everybody else is off, but this says it'll be worth your while working and gaining, okay? Divine timing, Betty Boop. Divine timing. Queen of Pentacles talks about, all right, we got the Nine of Cups. You got two Nines together. Nine of Pentacles and Nine of Cups. Two Nines together means you're in completion of a cycle. You're ending something. A door is closing. What happens on an ending? A brand new beginning. Brand new beginning. Oh my goodness. Be careful, my dear. I set off a fire alarm. Oh my heavens. So Nine of Cups is talking about wish fulfillment. Happiness and contentment. So we've got more than one wish being fulfilled. It was in the beginning of your reading. And one of that was done or out. The other has a delay attached. And then this is talking about more than one wish being granted. And this is a weekend read. So it looks like a pretty powerful weekend to me. With the Eight of Cups, why are you getting wish fulfillment? Because you're letting go of what no longer serves a purpose. New moon, new energy. Let go of the old and welcome the new. That's how that works. Temperance says you're doing things differently. You have finally recognized and embraced. When you do the same thing, you get the same result. You have to change things up to get a different result. Okay? You're doing just that. Sagittarius may or may not resonate. Queen of Wands. Again, putting you first. Queen of Swords. You may be dealing with a Virgo. There is a power couple here. So you know. Thank you. I appreciate your gifts. Thank you so much. Um, There is a power couple here. So you know. Okay. Um, I do see someone coming in to give you advice. So you've got someone coming in to ask you advice. But then you've got someone coming in to give you advice as well. And we have, again, the Seven of Cups. This is driving home that point. No hasteful decisions this weekend. Slow down. Think things through. On the Seven of Wands, there's Two of Wands. Some of those decisions I talked about you're making have got to do with travel plans. And we have the King of Wands. Two, there's two power couples here. I really feel strongly that you're dealing with the fire sign, which is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And the Seven of Pentacles, like I said, if you're working this weekend, it'll be worth your while. Planting the seeds, watching it grow. Just saying, it's good, good news. Now, let's move over here to these bonus cards. Hmm. <laughs> Decisions to make with the one night stand. I mean, the sun shines brightly, and I'm going to say this is uh, Pisces may or may not resonate. This is a very fly by night thing. I said what I said. It is what it is. Don't make any more into it. Don't feed more into that. Okay? And on that first wheel, that first wheel, you are indeed not stuck. You're waiting for that, that wheel to turn. And some of you, some of you just got a little bit of a patience problem. Now, I want to throw out uh, some letters that may or may not resonate. The letter A, the letter J, and the letter K. Exactly, Jim. King of Pentacles says you might be dealing with a Gemini energy. Or someone's coming in to talk to you about your finances or maybe some investments or savings. Five of Wands, let's avoid some family drama. Just steer clear of it. It's going to be very brief and very passing. Nothing for you to get involved in. And on that Nine of Pentacles, taking care of you, loving you, remaining single. Look at there, can't make it up. There's some magician with it. You've got double magicians going on here. Double healing cards going on. And you've got double three of wands. Patience problem. Biggest, biggest problem you've got for this weekend is a patience problem. But jiggity, anxious, 
feeling something's happening, something's changing, and then get nothing's happening. Get your living room cleaned up. You got unexpected company coming. Hi, Sonny. So there's that. But that magician does trump your reading, saying you absolutely get what you want and desire. All right, let's see what Kipper has for you. Trump in that reading. Love it. Good, good energy. Good vibes. Okay, what do we got going on, y'all? <sighs> Some jealousy surrounding you. Someone views you as having more than you actually do. Just because you're happy, you're lucky. You know, I'll tell everybody, happy is a choice. And do not, do not wait for your life to get easy to decide to be happy. Don't do it. Be happy right now. It's a choice. Um, Like I said, some of you are working. Some of you are doing some overtime this weekend. Some of you, someone is getting ready to ask you out on a date or they're viewing you as dating material. You're about to get a gift this weekend. Um, the gift that I'm seeing could be a leftover from Christmas. Maybe y'all didn't see each other. Maybe you didn't ex get to exchange gifts, but there's a gift coming in. Thank you. Thank you, Mona. That's right. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Choose it. Choose happy. Be warned of your health. Y'all know I was sick all last week. I mean, it's flu season. It's what I call the egg season. It's flu, allergies, cold, blah. Just be mindful. There is a wealthy man. There's a wealthy man here. I'm not sure what role he's playing in your life, but he's about to enter it. This could be a working professional, an attorney of some sort, sort of sorts. Could be getting the news of a marriage. And like I said, some of you are leveling up in your relationship, could be getting engaged. There's good news coming in. I don't think it's this weekend. This is more into next week. But there's good news coming in. But whatever it is, you're waiting on this news because you are totally ready to celebrate. Okay? You could be dealing with someone with a military background. You, this is the second time this reading has told you that you're on the right path and there's some unexpected income. Now, for some of you, this is going to resonate. Some of you are going to get news of someone going to jail or someone being released from jail. You are dealing with an official person. If you're asked to do something for your community, by all means, get involved. And again, the second time I'm going to tell you in this reading, you need to come through every yard of manifestation. Come from everything in this positive mindset. Okay? Not in that of poverty. Or you'll manifest it. Don't sit around and think about how broke you are. Think about what you're going to do when you got the money too. Start making that vision board, you know? When I have the money, I'm going to replace this piece of furniture. When I have the money, I want to travel here. I want to go to this restaurant because I've never been. Thank you, Magical. You know, manifest, manifest, manifest. And like I said, if you missed that podcast, go and catch it. All right. Random messages from my deck. Gemini energy. Sudden changes. And then it will flow naturally. Expect unexpected company. Driving this point home. Okay. That is this weekend. Um, someone you know, someone close to you, is coming in as an unexpected offer of assistance. That is this weekend. Kind of expect the unexpected this weekend. There's something you're leaving. There's something you're done with. I don't know if this is a project you're working on, or it could be someone. But you're like, I'm done. Done. No longer. Not doing it. Um, there's someone here. There's that trust issue again. Capricorn energy. I do have intensity and love. New love. Some of you leveling up. Some of you are leveling up individually, Jen. And some of you are leveling up in a relationship. And some of you, I'm going to say a new love opportunity may present itself this weekend. Not the one you sleep with. The other one. I love y'all. I really do. I'm just saying. <laughs> All right. 
<laughs> Let me see if I got anything else here for you. Get ready for a fast pace. Like I said, you're in the calm before the storm. And everything you want is within reach. Stop making excuses. You're making excuses for procrastination. <laughs> okay. Now, let me leave you with some affirmations. Oh, we got one jumping out the deck. It says, you will do the best you can every single day. Consider all your options before acting. Wow. How many times have I told y'all no hasteful decisions this weekend? Slow down and think it through. Let me let me explain that. All right. Just let me give you just a, a simple scenario. Okay. Um, let's say someone calls and says, hey, do you want to go out to eat? And you're like, when? And they're like, tomorrow. And you're like, I'll get back with you on it. Something else may come in between now and tomorrow. That's what I'm talking about. You can't change unless you change yourself. We talked about it, switching things up. So you get change for the better, changes for the better. You will not stand in the shadow of another. No second fiddle. I am peaceful and one with the earth. And last one says, angels are all around you, energizing your soul. What a great way to end the reading. Guys, that's what I got for you for the weekend. I am available this weekend. If you're seeking a personal reading, it is JackieTomlin.com. I'm a scary. I sent money PayPal. When did you send it, honey? I have not checked over there. Um, so, there's that. Okay? Now, you also need to know. I may jump over here this weekend. I like to do that sometime. A lot of good energy. A lot of energy going on this weekend. Thank you. Thank you so much. Guys, I have to get going. If you're seeking a reading, hit me up on my website. It's JackieTomlin.com. I love your energy over here. I love that we're getting a little regular group going on over here. It's good, good vibes. Good high vibes over here. And like I said, I may just pop in over here this weekend because I'm stuck here in my office this weekend. So, You guys have a fantastic Friday, and I'll see you soon. Bye, gang. Who's that, Sunny? Yes, I can. Contact me on my site, dear. But yes, I can. Bye, gang.